Hello, I'm going to do a reading from Young Drizzle. I don't know the proper pronunciations. It's a detailed reading. The Norse divination set of cards uh, for tarot. Divination and the Nine Worlds of Nordic Lore. Some really cool stories. I haven't gotten into this very deep yet. I'd like to have a card though for today. And I hope to find a, an interesting story that we can relate to or maybe uh, is one that Hollywood is used to develop another story or maybe a, a mythology that we've never heard that's fascinating let's find out what what our card one card pull has in store for us today oh, oh, come on let me go let's get one Got three. Let's try it again. I'm gonna get just one. I know we could be patient. Don't click off. All right, there's one. Okay. Hmm. What is it? The rule of three. Picture here with three white horses and horseback riders. And this illustration's done by Parker Halderson. Let's see if I can point it out. Where was it? Here it is. Above my finger. Parker Halderson. Okay. So that was his art. He does some good stuff. I like it, ink. The ink work he does. If you look at the detail, there's all these little lines that do the shading. And they're just so perfectly symmetrical next to each other. He does a great job. Okay. <clears throat> Informed decision. The rule of three. This book's a little tough to find. What card? Because there's no numbers on the cards. You just flip through until you find the picture. Aha. Uh -huh. Just as I said it, until you find the picture. The rule of three. And there's some Norse words here that mean the rule of three. Uh, Dreader, Breder, and form decision. The three brothers appear in the spread as the jury of the decision making. They reach a decision according to a majority rule. The parallel is drawn between them and the three sisters of destiny, Breder, Berdandi, and Skuld. The brothers are a lesser version. One represents the past, one the present, and one the future. Combined, they make decisions about questions at hand. They are thusly called upon 
for information decision making, informed decision making. They are also associated with Ragnarok, the final hour, <clears throat> the, the decision making of the final hour of Ragnarok. Most religions and for, uh, folklore have some kind of rule of three. They are also to be seen as messengers or warnings about Ragnarok, urging the seeker to plan and be ready. In the, in the, stead, in the spread, they can be read as a well-contemplated decision reached uh, reach for and by the seeker, the nature of which depends on the question at hand. The influence of the world they land in and the surrounding cards. So, past, present, and future. Well, they need, this card needs some surrounding cards. I'm going to give it one card and I'm going to give it a future card. A decision for the future from the present. The three brothers and there's three sisters three brothers representing the past present and future decision making a well contemplated decision so what card represents this decision that needs to be made one and it's fray spring and new beginnings we have a long time till spring well actually it's spring here it is spring here in uh, Idaho some of us have a long time till spring we're just, they're just starting a, a winter phase in Australia so <clears throat> fray so the decision that needs to be made is uh, associated with the spring here in for me, since that's where I am in the world, it is spring here. For those of you that just started winter, you may have to wait until spring for this to relate to you. Unless you just want to take, take it for the fact that I'm in an area of the world that's starting spring here now. Here's Frey. Frey is the god of a new beginning, if of new beginnings and new growth. His wife is Garor and Garor, and he is the twin brother to Freya, goddess of love. Freyr is a major god in Alpha Hammer and has a particular following in Sweden. He had a boar named Gullen Borsti drawing his chariot and a magnificent ship named Skilladener. Skilladener. Frey ruled part, partly over the Weather in the sun and is called upon for favorable conditions for crops. Frere's presence in the spread signifies a new beginning, a sprout, new ventures, ready to grow and prosper. Frere signals a favorable condition for new undertakings to grow. If his sister, Frasia, accompanies him in the spread, this quality is greatly reinforced, but with a dash of sexuality, possibly a love relationship. 
The twins together in the spread might indicate a more direct new sprout of life, such as pregnancy or childbirth. The twin siblings reinforce each other, and if Majorder, their father, is present in the spread, it is it increases the possibility of a prosperous venture in monetary terms. If he shows up with his wife, Gritter, his quality as a god of fertility of the land is reinforced. His servant, Skirner, also strengthens his influence in the spread, but the greatest strength for Frey, or Fur, in terms of new undertakings is this mother, his mother, Skadi, who brings strong willed, willpower and goal orientation. So it looks like we need to make another, another uh, pull. And if we get some of his family members, we'll have a new, uh, the dune wasn't mentioned, but that was a card to flip. And it says magical youth rejuvenation. So I'm going to take Frere as a spring and a new beginning. And uh, um, he has uh, uh, no reinforcements by other cards at this moment. But and also uh, magical youth and rejuvenation. Uden. We'll go ahead. Eden. Eden. We'll go ahead and read about that. It looks like a golden apple or something that she's holding the dune. Yeah, Good Springs is going to bring the golden apples and and uh, eternal life for the gods of Ragnarok. See what a doom says. Hope you all have had a good day. I went on a long hike today. It started at 10 and got back around 4.20 or 4.10, somewhere in there, to the car. And I came and took a nap. Here we go. Magical youth and rejuvenation, a dune. A dune is counted as a fertility goddess. She is the daughter of Durin and lives in Asgarder with her husband, Bergi, the god of poetry. She is the keeper of the apples of everlasting youth, and she lives in Bidivelder. Adun uh, guards the casket of apples that the gods have to eat from if they sense old age coming on. By eating the apples, they rejuvenate and become young again. She is responsible for the gods' everlasting youth, and her apples are much coveted by their adversaries. Loki, along with the giant Pajasi, once abducted Adun and her apples and brought them to Jotunheimer, Jotunheimer, which was a potential disaster for the gods who eventually force Loki to retrieve her. He borrowed a falcon from Freya and carried a doom back through the air in, a, in the shape of a nut. A doom represents, or sorry, a doom's presence in the spread signals a very positive renewal in life of the seekers regarding the question at hand and not even the presence of Loki or 
to see Pajasi can deter that notion for the spread as a whole. She brings renewed positivity to the spread. If her husband, Bergi, accompanies her, it signals a renewal in the relationship or a marriage. If her placement in the spread is Bergenheimer, de Bergenheimer, or if she is surrounded by entities from the dwarf world, the renewal refers to a work-related situation. So I'm gonna give it, give fate one time to bring out Bergi to see if uh, there's a renewed relationship or marriage and or uh, if Virgenheimer comes out if it's work related and if neither one come out uh, we're just going to end with it being a positive spread because she's a signification she signifies it as a positive spread our decision making with the three with our three um, brothers her decision, uh, informed decision, and then spring happening in a time frame, and uh, also um, magical youth and rejuvenation, giving a positive meaning to the spread. Let's see if any cards come out that uh, make it related to uh, relationships, marriage, or um, make it related to career so let's see and i'm not going to read this next card that comes out uh, if it's not one of those two then it wasn't uh, meant for us to know today so Frosty, mindfulness, lightness, impermanence. So it, it didn't come out. No other cards came out. I hope you've had a good day. And I've been taking good care of your bodies so that you can, they're not mad at you. You're getting good sleep because you're sleepy from having done something. And being good to yourself, your mind. Thank you for listening. And I'll see you in another video.